Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I surely hope you're having a great day today. God bless all of you. I hope you are truly having a great day. Uh, we have a new invest to be, not an invest, but a new area to watch that's out in the MDR. Uh, we'll check on that just one second. Let me update you with the power uh, outages. It looks like it went up to Arkansas, has 12,000 plus people with power outages now. And now they're also getting problems in Pennsylvania with power outages. They have 11,000. So here's the numbers. So if you want to check and keep updated with this, it's very easy. Just go to poweroutage.us, and it updates every 10 minutes. Now, Hurricane Laura is about to turn down the tropical storm, Laura. It is running at 75 miles per hour. It's right on the edge. It's raising the middle bar pressure at 9, 982. And it's going, to, it's going to be thunderstorms all through the evening and into tomorrow. But it is going to drop down quickly. Now, this is your 10-meter run of everything we have now. This is uh, the, the, from Hurricane Laura. It's going all the way through. You can see how quick Hurricane Laura will go down. Now, the invest, the, well, the area that we have to watch out into uh, the MDR, actually, there's, there's two little things I noticed that popped up. Uh, we was watching this little area of invest for five-day watch uh, going up to towards Puerto Rico. Now this is a 10 meter run, so this will show the uh, 10 meter damage sustained winds. So it's hard to see when you're looking at the lower powered ones, like you see in 28 and barely even 30 on this one. It gets a little bit stronger to where maybe it's a 30. But this is a little something that's going towards Puerto Rico that we need to keep an eye on. It has a five day watch on it. But I'm not showing anything powerful yet coming out of that. But as we go further a little bit, and you know it. As you go further, these can track a little differently in forecast. Uh, like this one right here. This sparks up right around the 5th. And it's almost at tropical depression already. It's pretty strong already. Okay, it's in the 30s. But then immediately it bursts up and it gets super strong. And as I click forward, you can see it does grow uh, towards hurricane strength. And these, like I said, this track also could be different than this sharp curve that it's doing now because it's so far away. This is on the 11th. But I am showing up to 103 miles per hour. That's Cat 2 strength hurricane. This is the, this is the sustained winds. Uh, but we will see what comes of it. We just need to pay more uh, closely attention to it. Now let me check and see what the wind gust is on that thing because I want to make sure that we don't get any more surprises uh, like another one behind it. That's what I, I show with the wind gust. Plus, to see if that first five area, uh, that five-day watch of that first area, see if there's anything above the 10-meter uh, winds to see if anything's going to form out of it. Now, this is the area right here that we're watching, and we got a little bit of orange. It's not even tropical depression yet, and this is wind gust. This is above uh, the damaging winds, the sustained winds. So this gives it the energy, the potential to grow underneath. It's only 35, 36. It still ain't, isn't even a tropical depression. But it's still a few days away. So that, that does have time to change. We just have to keep our eye on it. And the one that we also spotted after that, if you notice, it goes it goes along the same track as the rest of them. This is the warmest sector that it could path across the MDR. This is the main development region right here. And then for some reason, it changes its mind and starts to go north. But we need to watch it because it's still, it's still quite a ways away. But if you watch it move... You'll see it just start to turn north out of out of the MDR. It does go on like an east northeast east push on these last few shots, instead of just following the dominant high and just looping back around uh, towards Africa. But so far out of the wind gusts, uh, we have the 109 for the wind gusts. We have the 103 for sustained winds underneath. This is going to be a powerful storm. It is going to be a powerful hurricane when it does come on land, wherever it does go. Uh, hopefully, it just swirls around and leaves. But in the experience of looking at these for a while now, I've noticed when they say that it turns right around here, it actually travels way further than what they say when it's more than two weeks away. That's for sure. So we keep our eye on this. Uh, definitely don't want to let this go in any which way. And it looks like this tropical storm winds do fade away. Right when it gets uh, close to, right when it leaves Arkansas and it starts hitting Tennessee, the tropical storm winds look like they do fade away. It keeps some of the gust up to 40s, uh, even 38, 39, but it dissipates quickly. 
Uh, so y'all be aware of that whether we, you will be having them within, within the next day or two. Now tell me in the comments what you think about this storm. Do you think that this storm is going to be anything that we need to worry about? Or do you think it is going to curve off into the Atlantic? Because uh, that's, that's what I'm curious about. I mean, it's so far away, really, who can know what it's going to do? But it does show power already from this far away. That, that's, that's the point. Now Isaiah 24. Look, Jehovah is emptying the land and laying it waste. And he has twisted the face of it and scattered its inhabitants. And it must come to be the same for the people as the priest. The same for the servant as for his master. The same for the maidservant as for her mistress. The same for the buyer as for the seller. The same for the lender as for the borrower. The same for the interest taker as for the, the one paying interest. Without fail, the land will be emptied. And without fail, it will be plundered. But Jehovah himself has spoken this word. The land has gone to mourning, has faded away. The productive land has withered, has faded away. The high ones of the people of the land have withered, and the very land have been polluted under its inhabitants. For they have bypassed the laws, changed the regulation, broken the indefinitely lasting covenant. That is why the curse itself has eaten up the land, and those inhabiting it are held guilty. That is why the inhabitants of the land have decreased in number, and very few mortal men have remained over. Amen. So God bless you all. I hope you have a great day. Hope everybody will be fine and get their power back on through this event. I did see there was some pretty uh, catastrophic uh, damage in some areas, while some areas did get minimal. So I'm glad it's not as bad as it should have been uh, for a, a almost Cat 5 hurricane hitting land. So that's, that's pretty bad as it is. But I, I am glad that the storm surge was underestimated. I believe it was eight or nine feet underestimated. That's a big underestimation, but I'm glad to have it. So God bless you all. I hope you have a great day today. I will see you tomorrow.